So now that we've looked at activities, let's go ahead and create a new automation. So we're in the Automation Overview page, and we're going to come over here to the far right corner of the screen and click New Automation. And we're going to start this automation with either a file drop, which means that when a file drops on the FTP, this automation will begin, or we can start with a schedule, which means we can set a schedule for this automation to start. So let's choose Schedule, and let's configure the schedule. So the start date for this schedule we'll choose as December 1st, and we'll start it at 12 a.m., and we'll keep it at Central Time, and we'll have this repeat every day. And we can choose to have it repeat every one day, two days, three days, and so on and so forth. And we can have it end after a certain number of times, or on a specific date, or we can have it never end, which is what we'll choose. And click Done. And then we'll pull over our SQL Query activity from the Activity section, and then we'll take the Filter activity and put it onto Step 2. And then we'll choose our SQL Query, and we'll choose our Demo Query, if we don't have a query, we can click Create New Query Activity right here to create a new SQL query. But since we have our query here, we can just click Done. And for our filter, we'll click Choose. And once again, if we didn't have a filter, we could create a new filter activity here. But since we have a data filter already created, we'll just click this Created Demo Data Filter. And then we'll click Done. And now we have the automation that we want to create set up. So we'll come over here and click Save, and then this will prompt us to create a name, a description, external key, and a location for the automation. So I'm going to name this Demo Automation, and then click Save. And now that the automation has been saved, it stays in paused mode until we put it into active mode. And once we put it into active mode, this will repeat every day starting December 1st at 12 a.m., never ending, and in the time zone of central time. So let's go ahead and activate it. Let's click active, and then we'll get this prompt by clicking activate. We're turning on the following schedule. So we'll click activate, and now the automation is successfully activated. So if we want to pause this automation, we'll click pause, and then click pause again. And if we want to test our automation, we can come up here to click run once, and we can run specific steps in the automation. Or we could choose to select all activities, and all activities would run in the automation. And we'd come over here and click Run. And that's how you create an automation in Automation Studio.